I mean, one of the more interesting woods Conestoga has come out with in the last five or six years is bamboo. Uh, you're probably going to see a lot of that if you went to Lowe's or Home Depot and look at flooring. It's a very, very hard, very, very durable wood, grows very, very fast. And as you know, it comes and basically shoots with a hollow center. And they're basically taking little teeny rips of wood to make a door or flooring or what have you. Got a very interesting look. Uh, people consider it kind of a renewable resource because it grows so plentifully and so fast. As soon as you cut a bamboo stand down, it's growing back the next day. And I think it grows several feet a year. It's very fast. So anyway, Conestoga has made a point of trying to offer it as part of their door program. Uh, I want to talk through bamboo as a species, but then talk through some of the limitations you have when you're dealing with cabinetry, you know, the Conestoga's RTA cabinet box. So first of all, I have two doors in front of me. You may not even be able to tell much of a difference, but they are both uh, bamboo. One on the left-hand side is a what we call a flush batten door or just a slab door where they're taking bamboo and just making a flat door. There's no profiling to it. Um, it's just solid bamboo all the way through. And if you can see it in the camera, the rips of bamboo are almost all identically width, same width, and they're all about a quarter of an inch um, uh, wide, five sixteenths of an inch wide or so. Very, very tiny rips and not a whole lot of character running through that door. You've got a couple of knots and things in there, if they're even called knots with bamboo. Uh, and then the door on the right-hand side, or my right-hand side, is uh, veneer. So it's a veneer facing back, and the edge of the door is a bamboo solid wood edging. So you can barely see like a seam where that three millimeter solid wood edging is meeting up with the bamboo uh, veneer. And this door is called the Astoria door. It's in our flat panel section. And you can see these are both finished the same color. It's just a natural. You can see this one in its natural form is a little darker, uh, probably because of the veneer. It's like a caramelized uh, bamboo. And you can see it's got a whole lot more character in it. So be aware that when you order veneer versions of bamboo for things like um, the Astoria door or sheets of veneer to skin the side of your cabinet, you're going to get more character than you are in the slab veneer, or the, uh, yeah, the solid wood slab veneer, or the slab uh, door, not, not veneer, solid wood. Um, the point I want to make about the cabinet is if you order Conestoga's RTA cabinet in any species other than cherry, maple, oak, um, soft maple, or painted, uh, you're not going to be able to get the cabinet sides direct matching. They don't stock plywood to make the cabinet box parts in all these different species. So if you want to do walnut or you want to do uh, bamboo or pine or something like that, the front frame of the cabinet can be bamboo. The doors and drawer fronts can be bamboo. They can do bamboo moldings, but when you have a finished end or a matching interior, there's no bamboo. So what Conestoga will do is sell you, when you say I want a finished side in your cabinet, they're going to send you a pre-cut piece of veneered plywood, quarter inch thick, and you would need to laminate that onto the side of the assembled cabinet and tuck that veneer up behind the little 5 16 uh, front frame overhang. And it will look like a flush bamboo end when you're done, but you have to supply the glue and the labor to, to apply that skin. All right, so that's a big difference versus their normal cherry, maple, oak uh, kind of cabinets where if you say flush end or finished end, it comes right from the factory with the finish and the red oak or the maple or whatever already applied. So be aware of that. There's also going to be limitations on things like range hoods or uh, carvings like corbels and bar brackets and table legs and feet. You're not going to get that in bamboo. So when you start thinking about accessorizing the kitchen with other decorative elements, you run into some limitations and your sales guy is going to tell you hey, you're rubbing up against some limitations on bamboo. If you want to stick with bamboo, keep it very, very simple. Keep your design very, very simple. Um, the pricing on it isn't as favorable as you would think. Uh, I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's not like it's coming in way under red oak or something. The, the bamboo is, is nice because it's a renewable resource, so you're doing it for the green factor, but it's not a huge price saver. Uh, again, your sales guy can run a quote for you and kind of talk you through some of that. But if you have any questions on bamboo, if you want to get a sample, we can sell sample doors in bamboo. They don't have sample blocks uh, in bamboo, so you're going to have to order a door or a slab drawer front. But we can put any finish you need on there that's shown on their offering and availability table and get you an actual uh, sample so you can see how this looks in your, your kitchen, your setting. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Thanks.